Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tawada. In this video lecture, I am going to show you a solution for a problem on a straight line. And the example problem is like this. <coughs> a line AB 60 mm long has one of its extremities 20 mm in front of VP and 15 mm above HP. The line is inclined at 25 degree to HP and 40 degree to VP. Draw its top and front views. Find the apparent length and apparent inclinations with HP and VP. For the given condition, the data collection will be like this. The true length of a line is given as 60 mm and the locus of A dash is 15 and A is uh, 20 mm and theta is 25 and phi is 40 degree respectively. Now uh, using a line command with a thickness of 0.13, now one can uh, start drawing the xy line and mark all the respective things that is let me draw one xy line and after which one locus is drawn above the xy line one locus is drawn below the xy line accordingly let me draw the two different uh, locus of a lines and these lines are at a distance of uh, 15 mm above and uh, 20 mm below so let me give this distance as uh, 15 and the below line as 20 millimeter and after which uh, using a, a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 one has to draw a projector of P that is joining the locus of P dash and P so make use of a text command mark this point as uh, P dash and this point as P sorry it's not a P it is supposed to be A so let me change it to A that is going to be A dash and A and after drawing this we know that the true length is 60 millimeter and true angle is 25 degree so make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.35 mm from a dash the length of a line must be 60 and the angle must be 25 degree and in the same fashion from here the length is 60 degree angle should be minus 40 by which the true length of a line could be written and these points will be marked as B1 dash and B2 respectively. After drawing these things using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13, one has to draw two locuses from B dash as well as B2 that is B and B dash. So these two locuses will be drawn and after drawing these two necessary locuses next b2 will be projected till the locus of a dash to get the position of b2 dash and in the same fashion b1 dash is going to be projected till the locus of a to get the position of b1 and then uh, make use of uh, the text command so this is going to be the b1 and this point is going to be the b2 dash and b2 dash will be taken to this location will be marked as b dash and b1 will be taken to this location will be marked as b then make use of an arc by center point command with the 0.13 as a thickness with a dash as the center b2 dash that is a front view length get the position of b dash exactly on the locus of b dash in the same fashion a as the center b1 as the radius that is nothing but the top view length and get the locus position and get the point on locus B exactly and after getting that uh, respective points after getting that respective points then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter one can join A dash to B dash as a dark line and A B as a dark line once this is finished uh, one can say that the projections has been completed whether this projection is right or wrong to verify it, join B dash to B. If it is joining as a perfect vertical line, then the solution is correct. Now, this is a perfect vertical line, then our solution is correct. Then, after this, uh, using the text command, mark the respective things that is uh, x, y, v, p, h, p, etc. This is x, and here I will be having v, p, and below the x, y line, I mark h, p, and this is going to be the y. And then we are supposed to we are supposed to give the dimensions which are asked in the question so now uh, the true lengths were asked so let me draw the uh, true length dimensions in both the front and top use uh, that is uh, 
60 and 60 and also the true inclinations are given as uh, 25 and uh, 40 so let us mark those values first yes and after which we need to identify what are the values to be identified now what are the values to be identified the apparent length has to be identified that is nothing but front view length and top view length so this is going to be the front view length and this is going to be the top view length and after getting front view length and top view length uh, the next one what we are supposed to measure is the inclinations the apparent inclinations that is apparent inclination is with respect to these two lines that is measuring as 33 and here this is measuring as 45 then not all dimensions are in number then we have to represent these values as separately as the answers what are the given answers that is uh, front view length is equal to 45.96 millimeter and then top view length is marked as 54.38 millimeter and then angle alpha a is equal to 33 degree and angle beta b is equal to 45 degree next to get this alpha and beta symbols properly so one can uh, change this uh, font style from times new roman to symbol so alpha and beta symbols we got it to locate uh, the degree so one can go to the character map and search for symbol and then select the degree then copy then paste it at uh, after 33 as control v and wherever it is pasted uh, the extensions whatever is there you delete those extension and press the control v so that now this problem is completed in all aspects now if anyone is having any kind of doubts you can please feel free to call me at any point of time but make sure that not during the late nights and also i request you to kindly subscribe to my channel and also please share this video to all your first year engineering students whoever is having engineering graphics so which will encourage me to create more and more videos thank you guys